All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I thought in today's video we would cook some figs. And I have not really done much cooking of figs other than maybe putting them on some pizza. Haven't really baked with them. Haven't really uh, wrapped them in anything or done anything all that interesting because in my opinion, they taste so darn good fresh that uh, it, feels, it feels like a waste to uh, use such an amazing fig in some other way and kind of ruin what nature created. But you know, everybody has their own opinion and um, I'm just trying in this video to kind of open my horizons a bit to see what else is out there. I recently, by the way, over the last um, month or so, I started actually cooking bananas, but not your typical Cavendish. These are honestly crap in many ways, but um, you can cook plantains and you can also cook um, a Thai banana that I find at a local Asian market. And that's a very creamy banana. And you have to wait for both of them actually for the skin to turn black. And then they are really, really tasty in their own way. Um, of course, the plantain is really meant for cooking. The Thai banana is not, but I find that when you cook the, the bananas in the same way here that we're gonna cook these figs, they turn out to be so, so good. And in my opinion, I actually really, really like bananas that way. I think they're actually better than if you were to eat bananas fresh. Now, obviously, the best I can do is a store-bought banana, right? I can't, I can't grow bananas here. I mean, you could in a container, but it's a lot of work. It takes a long time. But from what I have available and the bananas I've eaten throughout my life, I think... Um, you know, growing them, or I should say, that's probably the best I can do, is actually getting a store-bought plantain or a store-bought Thai banana and then cooking it, adding some sugar, and they turn out amazing, if you ask me. So we're gonna try to do the same thing here with the figs. That's really the, the base recipe, is that we're going to, use, we put some coconut oil there in the pan. It's really on medium. Um, and then, of course, we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. Now with the fig, in order for, I think, this to work, we have to, I, th I would argue, probably pick them a bit early. This is a Breba. It's a uh, Dotato Breba, AKA Peter's Honey, or um, you know, so many names for this thing. So the point is, is like, these are not very good. I picked it early, it rained a lot last night. Not expecting a whole lot to even eat out of this fresh, but when you pick them early, the structure is a lot more firm. And this is kind of, I would imagine, this is probably what you would probably get at the store in terms of ripeness, is they'll pick it at about 60% ripeness, and then they'll, uh, they'll cook, or they'll, they'll ship it across the country. So this, honestly, I think this Tostado Brave is perfect. Let's um, look at some other Braves I have. This is Solato, it's a new variety to me. And I'm not sure if I even wanna cook it. We'll see how good it looks on the inside. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Um, so this one here, as I said, is new. It's really promising in terms of all the new varieties I grow. This one I'm very impressed with. So we'll see, uh, I'm gonna taste it. Just might as well, right? A little underripe, but that's a good fig. Mm. We're gonna cook the other half, but um, I'm really excited for that. I think that, that fig has a lot of potential. This one here is called um, Sister Madeline's Yellow. This was originally found by Charlie Little, I think in Michigan. There's a little bit of problem here on the bottom just because uh, it rained a lot last night. And that's kind of why I picked these figs. They're kind of getting saturated and not looking too great. Ooh, does that look amazing. This fig really uh, impressed me actually. Um, when I got to try this off of a friend's tree, her name's Karen in New York. 
and she actually brought this fig to a gathering I was at. I got to try it, and it was amazing. So this one it doesn't have a big name, but it's... I think it's probably going to be very impressive. You can tell, by the way, that it is waterlogged because the pulp has got more of a translucent color to it. All right, let's try this. Yeah. It's a high quality fig. I think that one's worth eating. Um, instead of cooking. So I'm not even gonna, I think I, you know, I will cook that one just because I wanna see what happens to it when we put this in here. So let's put this, put these in now. I'll put them up this way first. We're going to see what the heck happens, right? I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. We're just trying to really lightly brown the outside. I'm going to lightly coat them with sugar because some of these underripe figs just don't have the sugar. And this will help caramelize them a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. Because I did, uh, I did the same thing here that I'm doing right now with um, the bananas and I also did it with some of my own apricots. And the apricots, I added too much sugar and they were so sweet that it was I couldn't eat them. So I don't want to ruin these. But again, this is on medium. We have the coconut oil in here. Just kind of let them wait and kind of do their thing. Again, we're trying to do this. I guess the end result, hopefully, is going to be something that uh, is just a bit brown or caramelized on the outside. I'll show you guys a photo, if I remember, I'll insert it right now um, into the video of the bananas that I've been cooking. And you can see the end result of those bananas. Probably a little too high, actually. Should be uh, maybe a little too much oil in the pan. Probably don't need this much oil. See what the bottom looks like. Yeah, it's starting to get brown. Yep, I'm gonna turn them over. You don't want to burn them. Wow, that's so much oil. I really put too much oil in here. I think, guys. We'll see what happens though. I ain't got nothing to lose, right? This is all an experiment, and hopefully. It turns out well, maybe it doesn't turn out well, but we're gonna, I think, continue on with this. I'm gonna try this multiple times throughout the season, probably different ways, because I can't imagine getting this right the first time. But it'll be nice to be able to show, you know, some chefs or something, or maybe you guys are selling figs, and the chefs are like, well, what do you do with them? And I'll be like, oh, I eat them fresh, but now I can kind of show them this video, or you could show them this video. Wow, I love how the color of the pulp has changed dramatically on that one. See, it's good. It's important for this to keep its shape, I think, because if it's really soft like this one, it's just going to be too soft, and we're kind of just at that point, I don't know, creating jam, and I don't want to create jam. I think this one's done. I don't even, I, I don't know. This is proving, I think. This will probably be more difficult than I think. It really is kind of turning into jam. I think, I, I think it's too hot. Right now I have my stove on five. It goes up to 10. I take this one off as well. It's kind of like a candied caramelized fig is kind of what I'm trying to do here, I guess. See some of that sugar in the pan, it's kind of caramelizing there. Uh, I'm going to take this one off and taste it and see what the hell I'm dealing with.
this one here, the Dotato, I think was probably the perfect fig for this. They, I'll tell you what, they don't look that powerful. I think they looked better before. Hmm. Tell you what, that's pretty good. Let's try a different one. Try the bottom of these figs this time, instead of the top. Oh, that one's quite good. And let's try this one. This one's super soft. Kind of already turning into jam, honestly. Hmm. Well, that one's very sweet. I don't know. They're, they kind of get blander, honestly. That one has a lot of honey in it. Tastes a lot like honey. I'm keep going with this one, see what the heck happens. It's starting to, I mean, that looks pretty darn palette. It looks good, you know? Got good caramelization on it. The, actually, the the seeds there, the pulp of that fig, whatever that was, has now turned into jam. So there's a little bit of fig jam on top, and it looks a bit caramelized. I think this is done. Hmm. So what do we think? I'm not even sure what to think. I don't know how you guys would know what to think. But you think it's pal you think it looks nice? I mean, is this something that somebody would even kind of serve at a restaurant, you know? I don't know. It doesn't look normal to me, and I've seen many fakes. I don't know. It's just something about it. Let's see if it's any good. Whoa. Yeah. I'm going to agree. I'm going to say that I think it needs to go a little bit longer and caramelize a bit on the bottoms, like on the skin, and then probably very briefly get the other side, the pulp side, and then call it a day. But the more I think you get at the skin, the better off you're going to be. And varieties, I think, that have a thicker skin to them, that have a you know, a uh, better structure to them going into this process, I think are gonna just do better in this process. So um, a fig with a very non-existent skin, very thin skin, or um, not much structure to it is not gonna do well in this. That's why I think the Dotato is perfect because it is a commercial fig and that's really what it is, was made for, you know? It has that thicker skin, better structure that we picked it early. I'll tell you what though, you, I could say this 100% certainty is that this is better than if I just ate it, you know, right off the tree. Because these Bravas, they just weren't very ripe. And I picked them early. And, you know, so that's saying something, I think. Hmm. It's amazing how much sweeter it gets. I and mean, I did add some sugar, but. See, that one had some berry flavor to it. The salato, but I don't know. 
I'm still not really that impressed. I mean, the presentation is just weak. You know, they look they look like slop on a on a plate or something. So we'll see you guys soon. All right, it's just one little view. We'll do this again, I'm sure, and uh, maybe I can refine this, and then maybe I'll show you guys how I'm doing it if uh, if I find something interesting. We'll see you guys soon. All right, take care. Hit that subscribe button. See you for the next one.